so I'm going to show you um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, make a backup copy of a PlayStation One game that you own uh, originally. Um, first, you download ImageBurn, which is uh, not hard. Uh, you can find it online if you search it. So uh, click, click ImageBurn, and then create, and then click Create Image File from Disk, and uh, click this one first. And it will read the disk. Alright, and then click OK. And now just click here if you want to pick a destination where you want to put the file in. So I'm gonna pick a desktop here. And, um, uh, and I'm gonna click here, this one. And I'm just gonna wait. So I'm just gonna pause it here. And now it's soon done. And there you go, it's done. And then you just press OK. And as you can see here, you got two files here. And here is the very important thing here. Um, I heard that you don't, you must not change the main file or the file name. What you can do though is, um, in this case, in this case, I actually made a copy of Metal Gear Solid One, the disc one of it. So what you can do is you can do it like this, disc one. You can do it a little. You can do it like this, but you can't change the file, the file itself, you know, image, if it's name image, and you have to have it like that. So you can change it like this. You get two files. One is bin and one is in queue. Uh, that's just how it is. Uh, oops, uh, sorry, I meant to say at this one. <laughs> there. So it's the same file in a sense. And But if you are confused on how you are to organize it, uh, I do it like this. Uh, metal gear solid one and then I just put it in this folder and now we have the first uh, disk of Metal Gear Solid 1 here and just to um, make it easy on how, um, on how it works in emulator I'm gonna make another copy because I wanted to test uh, how to switch disks so I'm gonna make a copy of um, Let's see her. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. Uh, it's I think it's called VR Missions in USA, but I'm gonna make uh, a copy of that one uh, because it usually relies on changing discs. So that's why I'm gonna use this as, as an example here. I'm just gonna wait till it reads disc here. Just a second. All right, now it's here. I'm gonna click on this again. Read the disc. Good. Okay. And then change the destination to what I want it to. Good. And now I'm just gonna click here again and I'm gonna pause it till it's done burning. Yeah, so I have a little problem here. Um, yeah, this can probably happen sometimes. Uh, basically, there's some um, copyright protection, so I, I can't actually make copy of that file. But, but you know, um, I think just Proving that it works is enough, so I'm just gonna stop it here. Let's see. Delete, yes. So that's a shame, but you know, eh, you can't win all this. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna show how it works in uh, emulator. Uh, I'm using a um, Zebra emulator. Uh, this one. Um, this I, I use this one because it's kind of the legal emulator, because it doesn't really rely on BIOS. I heard that if you have BIOS, then that's kind of illegal because um, uh, I guess because it uses source code from the the original hardware or something. But but this is uh, made from its own BIOS, so it's like uh, a BIOS uh, made uh, hardware in a sense. So it's not like it it doesn't uh, like copy it. It's like uh, homemade in a sense. So Zebra PS One is kind of like the legal emulator of PlayStation One. So this is uh, the legal one that I recommend. It works pretty good too. I'm gonna to show you here. Um, first of all, I'm just, just gonna show a little bit of controller because um, uh, first of all, it shows you what you use, like up, left, uh, square, circle. So you're gonna get the idea of uh, where you should, should um, uh, map it if you were to map it. But uh, but don't be tricked here because you're supposed to click here, control one, and then you just map it uh, with the 
with um, uh, with whatever you have on uh, inputted. So uh, and and you also pick between digital or analog depending on the game because not every game supports analog. So digital sometimes it's used. So, but I'm gonna in this case I'm gonna use the analog controller because it's Metal Gear Solid One and you know it supports it. So uh, yeah, so um, I'm gonna. Um, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I guess I can show you a little bit of how my um, setting, settings works. Like, I use these settings for video output, uh, and I also write zero here because I, I think it makes it more smooth in terms of um, frame rates. Because if it has two originally, but my problem is it kind of moves very slow if it has it on two. So I just put zero here. So that's my video output. And then I'm going to show you my settings for uh, sound output. And I usually have it on 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way. And that kind of works, actually. But now that I show this, I'm going to open the game. Um, and uh, here you have uh, uh, two solutions here. You can you can use it like this. Or see the wrong via image. This is kind of if you have a CD uh, into the PC. So if you want to just run it from CD, then that's one way to do it. But but I don't recommend it because it has some load time that kind of uh, uh, ruins the fun of the game. So I just prefer, I, I overall I prefer using a um, I prefer using image. But I guess if it's copyright game, then I guess uh, CD is the only way to do it. <laughs> so yeah, it it kind of sucks if you can't take back a copy. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna choose this one um, and uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna go to where I. Uh, where I put this, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. Oh yeah, and, and there's also this uh, weird thing where it, first time running this game, you have, you have to actually pre press run and power 1. And then it would uh, it, it would do it auto automatically from now on, on this game. But for some reason, every new game has to do this uh, when you have like a new image file, for some reason. But now it works. And I'm gonna, let's see here. Just show how it works. Uh, it should work at least. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just gonna play a little bit before I go into the gameplay, just to check if everything is okay, is okay here. <laughs> just to hear if the sound is okay. Yeah, it seems fine so far. Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and Yeah, it seems to work. The sound is okay and everything. Um, I can I can mention one thing though. Um, for some one thing that is kind of shame is uh, the emulator doesn't support vibration. So if you expect vibration, uh, just a second. Um, if you expect vibration, then this game uh, the, the the emulator doesn't support that. So. Uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't support uh, vibration, but everything else is perfect, though. Uh, but I haven't tested the analog yet, so I'm gonna do it right now. I'm pretty sure it works. Let's see here. This is Snake. Let's see here. Seems to work fine. Uh, I guess you can wonder why it's a little bit slow. That's because it's, uh, you know, Europeans. We are we on our slow, <laughs> we are on, we on our slow frame rate. Um, you know, um, basically, uh, in PAL version, uh, 50 hertz goes a little bit slower than the 60 hertz. So this is normal. So it's not like it's uh, it, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just uh, the way that um, that the PAL discs um, or 
the frame rate uh, works like in terms of 50 Hz, so that's just normal in terms of uh, our region of the game. So I'm gonna play a little bit, let's see. And let's see. Uh, one cool cool thing though with the uh, with the uh, with the analog stick of the Metal Gear Solid One is, um, I mean at least on the original um, on the original uh, PlayStation One is uh, uh, if you just move analog slowly while looking, um, you kind of have a better uh, control on it sometimes. But I think it's I'm not sure if it's better on the original PlayStation One hardware, but. It kind of seems to work the same if you use the analog a little bit, um, but yeah, I kind of like it. So, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna just gonna take down the guard to see how that works. I mean, I'm gonna <laughs> screw up so badly here, but whatever. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm not uh, <laughs> really doing my best of it. Shit. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Um, so yeah, um, that's one way to do it. Um, and uh, and the reason why I mentioned, um, let's see here. Um, oh, sorry, wrong. Um, here, uh, that's why I re uh, one of the reasons why I mentioned why you should n r not rename the file here. Uh, you know, this case. If this is just a default file, then don't change it. But you can add this one, so you can distinguish. So that's that doesn't uh, hurt if you want to change disks. Uh, the problem is if you change the raw file of the of the file, then uh, I heard that's gonna create problems. So never change uh, this part. You know the raw file name. Uh, or but you can always add something after it. That's totally okay. So yeah. Um, I hope that this uh, helped you with uh, backup files. It kind of sucks though that I couldn't make backup file of this Metal Gear Solid special special uh, missions or VR VR missions as, as it's called in the USA. Um, I mean, not that I need really to make a backup copy of Metal Gear Solid One because uh, uh, because I already let's see, I already have this here. If you see it, <laughs> I bought it from GOG.com. So it's if you want to get the PC one, uh, I would recommend getting from the from GOG because that version is actually not bad really. Uh, it's a very good uh, port of, on PC so it's very solid and it's very good. Uh, uh, I guess the only reason why you should make a PS1 backup copy is because of VR missions because uh, the PC port doesn't have that. And that one doesn't work. <laughs> I mean you can play it probably. I'm gonna test just to see. Um, I'm gonna shut it down a little bit there. Um, and I'm gonna put the VR missions discs inside. I'm gonna shut it down. Ah, it's already inside, okay. And just to see if it works, uh, at least if you can play it, uh, even if you can't make a backup copy. And I'm gonna show you here. Just a second. Alright, I open CD-ROM via SPTI. And then uh, I'm gonna go to um, here. Um, I don't remember what I clicked on, but I'm gonna click on this one just to see. Yeah, it seems to work. I guess I don't really know what to click it, but I'll just click on something and see if it works. But let's see here. Yeah, it works. Okay, so we can run it, but you know you can't make backup copy if the if the burning software just doesn't uh, allow it because it's copyright protection. So it kind of sucks, but yeah. But I just wanted to show you this. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you, and thank you for listening, and bye.